Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the top five upgrades for your First Strike T15. I already did a video reviewing the T15 and as you can see, it's definitely a little different since the last time you've seen it. So I'm going to be going over the top five best upgrades and what I have found has worked great. This isn't going to be a super long video because I'm not going to go in depth on the review of everything. Um, but I am just going to be going over what the top five upgrades are for it and what you should buy. All right, so let's get into it. So first off, we're going to be talking about the grip. Right here, as you can see, we have a grip where my fingers just slide right in there and it just feels great. It's got a bit of padding on this side. It is just beautiful. It, it feels great on your hand. It feels amazing when you're shooting it and it makes that T15 just a little bit more yours. You know, it, it customizes it to your liking and when you see it, you know that that's your gun. The second thing we're going to be going over is the 30 round mag. Now this mag, mine's a little janky. All right. We have some duct tape down here because this piece, which usually holds the mag together, actually came apart and then it flies off. I really like the 30 round mag. I think it's good if you're just going out and target shooting. And even if you're playing a game, it's nice. However, it is longer and very hard to screw here, but you know, that's something you can get through if you really want to. So it'll hold 30 rounds of, I believe both first strike and round balls actually, but it's very nice. It can get a bit big, janky at times, but that's okay because it's worth it. I think it is worth it. So it's a nice addition. The third addition that we are going to be talking about is a rail riser with a sight. Now this is basically just a sight, but with a gun like this, you're going to be wearing a paintball mask when you're shooting it, at least if you're playing paintball. So you're going to need to have a rail riser. This one is a one and a half inch, I believe. So it just raises that sight up a one and a half inch. I have a pretty cheap true glow holographic red dot on there. It's nothing special, but it works. It gets the job done. The sights that come on this are just little plastic, you know, regular AR iron sights, which are okay, but if you really want to be accurate with your first strikes, it's nice to get a sight that you can really sight in and get honed in on where you can shoot and how you can shoot, so you know consistently where you're shooting. Now the fourth upgrade I'm going to be talking about, I actually don't have yet. So I don't have any personal experience with this, but it just looks kick ass and awesome. It is the full auto kit that if you can see right here, there is a full auto, a no fire, and a fire just, you know, it's the safety. Um, you can switch it to full auto. Now, I don't have the full auto conversion kit, so I don't know what it's like, but it looks awesome. I've seen videos of it. I've researched into it a lot. It's about $250, and it just looks awesome. It can shoot up to about 20 balls per second, and it looks really cool. However, it is sold out absolutely everywhere. I mean, I cannot find it anywhere. I've tried. I've tried. I've been on waiting lists forever. Cannot find it, so it's very difficult. Um, I don't have it, but that would be my number four spot because it just looks kick-ass and it would make your gun awesome. It's nice for laying down cover fire, I would assume, so that's what it is. Now we're going to go into some honorable mentions that I don't necessarily think are like necessary to your gun, but they are kind of cool to have, and some of them would be nice. The first thing is a hopper attachment because with the barrels of these guns, if you see right here, you flip that up and then you turn the barrel left a little bit, you can see that this flips up so you can put a hopper in there. You need a special T15 hopper attachment. Um, I just don't like using a hopper because I really prefer first strike rounds. That's the whole idea of me buying this gun is that I can use first strike rounds so that I can be more accurate and instead of just, you know, spraying and praying, you can actually land your shots. So I'll screw that back in. There. Now the second honorable mention I would like to give to the rail encaser or this thing right here. I don't really know what it's called to be honest, but this, this piece, this piece that encases the barrel. Okay. It's where you have your rails. Now, the only thing that I don't like about this gun is it does come with two M locks here, where, which means you just twist it in, you put it in this way, and then you twist it, so it's this way, so it'll lock in. And it's a rail that's about, you know, this big. But I don't like that. I would prefer if I would have a more, uh, I would have rails here, here, which already has, on the bottom, and on the other side. Now, that's not necessary, like I said, but if you're planning on putting a flashlight or a grip or anything on there, it'd be nice to not have it just, you know, sticking out. It would look smoother. It would look better. Now, 
My third honorable mention, and final honorable mention, would be an extra air tank. Now with this air tank, you can fit it into the stock, so it feels a lot more like a real AR. You see that the first strike tank, it is 3,000 PSI, but it's small. It'll only shoot about 150 rounds out of this before you run out. It is 13 cubic inches. So it's not fantastic as far as amount of balls shot goes, but it, it performs in the gun great. It's just, if you have another one and you're out on the field and you don't want to walk all the way back to fuel your gun back up, it'd be nice to carry another one of these that would fit into the stock. It also is nice to have a bigger air tank that shoots more, that shoots more balls and is bigger like a 48 cubic inch one or something like that um, because then if you're just target practicing or whatever you're not wasting your good tank that you'd use for playing. Now to get into the final most important upgrade this thing is absolutely vital to your gun. All of the other upgrades so far have been suggestions. You can get them, you, you, you don't have to, you know. This barrel is a Lapco 14 inch threaded barrel or rifle barrel. As you know, for first strike, the first strike rounds have fins on the back of them that are what is called rifled, okay? These fins go through and fit this barrel and come out shooting so much faster and so much more accurate, 25 times more accurate. I mean, it is such an improvement. It makes it like an actual gun. I will be going much more in depth on a different video for the Lapco 14 inch threaded barrel that I'm making that a whole separate video because that deserves it. It is so amazing, but that is definitely the number one upgrade. It's perfect. You need it on this gun because without this gun, it's just like another gun, any other paintball gun that doesn't have ammo, but it feels like an AR, which I like, don't get me wrong, but with this, it is actually shooting a lot more similar to a real weapon. There's a lot less drop off. It is a lot, it is just super accurate. It is amazing. We need the threaded barrel. It is necessary to your gun. So that has been the top five upgrades for your First Strike T15. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for not only the barrel review, but many more videos to come. See you later.